Welcome, everyone, to another episode of The Etiquette Guy with Mr. Jay Reamer. Welcome, Jay. Thank you. Nice to be here. I'm Mary Casement, as you know, and we're staying with our question and answer format because we've had some very positive results uh, and feedback from people, and we hope to get feedback from you. And if you have questions, you please uh, send them along to Jay by email or just call our station directly. So, Jay, you've... Uh, gleaned a few precious uh, items from some of the uh, questions you get every day. Yeah, they come in fast and furious. <laughs> <coughs> well, we'll be slow and deliberate with our answers. There we go. The first one is asking if there is any proper elevator etiquette. Are people who are trying to get into an elevator supposed to wait and t to let the people who want off to get off first? I, uh, yes, is the answer. <coughs> um, I remember back in the old days when there were actually elevator operators. I remember that. Remember too. them? Yes. And in uniform. With the white gloves. Mm -hmm. And the deal was is that ladies always got off and first. on the elevator first. And I can remember my grandfather drilling this into me. And I was thinking, this is so impractical because may, what if the women are behind you? Because that invariably will happen, right? Well, in this day and age, um, what with women's lib and all, uh, there is no gender preference now for entering and exiting an elevator. So the people that are in the front <clears throat> get off. It's just like getting on and off a subway car. You know, you, the people that are getting off get off. You don't get yes. on before they get off. No. So yes, there is an etiquette to it. It's, it is common sense driven, like so many etiquette points are. And so the people that want to get off uh, the elevator get off before the people that want to get on get on. And to me, I know I've run into this problem, it's only logical that you stand a little bit to the side of the door to leave room for people to get out and get by you. You don't stand in a line across Yes, I mean, if you're, <clears throat> if you're riding the elevator to the top floor or one of the upper floors, there's no point in standing in the middle or at the front of the door because you're just in the way. Mm -hmm. So, um, and if you have, um, yeah, no, there's just no excuse. I mean, it's just common sense, I think, that... So yes, there is an etiquette to it, and, and if people don't follow it, it, it annoys people. Yes, yeah. and it, it, it slows down things. Yes, it's people not efficient at all, right, yeah. 